Hey guys, here we are with a little stitch with me action. New angle, trying to do a new setup. It's not very easy at all. I'm really afraid everything is gonna fall apart and like my iPad is gonna crash, as in crash on the floor. But we're gonna try it. I think we're good for a little bit anyway. How's everybody doing? Today is, oh, I don't have my drink. Worst stitch with me ever. But I can't move because I've got this set up exactly how I want it. So today's Tuesday, February 27th, and I just wanna take a little bit of time to stitch. So that's what I'm gonna do. Today is Tuesday, hashtag Tuesdays we sin. Um, Lucretia and I started this project last Tuesday. It is called And They Sin. Let me see if you can see it here. So I'm working on that top part. Um, it's a very long, ridiculous, crazy pattern. Still available though if you watched my latest floss tube, I did talk about it. Um, and in the show notes on my blog, which is 3 allthreadsblogcom um, I included a link of where you can buy it. I paid $48 for mine. It is more expensive in other shops, but $48, it's still available where I got it. So um, my goal for today is to finish this cherub and he's gonna look like this one over here. Finish him, and then there is a serpent that goes right here on both sides. A little hair on there. Um, I'd like to finish those today, and I think that I can. And then I'm probably gonna put this piece away for a while. So let's, let's get started. What can we talk about today? Honestly, I didn't have um, any intention of doing a stitch with me just because I just did a video yesterday but normally I would probably be scrolling through Facebook and stuff like that and um, I just don't want to do that if you belong to Facebook um, you know if you're a member of like stitch mania you know that it's been a little moody lately um, our admins are tired and they're getting very grumpy because people are crazy. Um, there's a lot of opinions flying around. And um, where did I put that stitch? There it is. And it gets to a point where it's just not really fun anymore. And... Um, it definitely, I think, hit that point for our fearless mania leaders. It's not fun right now. I don't know what the I don't know what the deal is. Somebody posted it. It was really funny. Somebody posted. It's almost March. February is when everybody on social media like freaks out and is the angriest. But once March hits, we'll be fine. So just hang in there. Just a couple more days, right? I'd never heard that before. I wonder if there's some scientific <laughs> reasoning behind that. Is it the, the fact that February is like the worst week or worst month for winter? I know it is here in Michigan. It's usually the coldest and the grayest and everybody has cabin fever and we're all just ready to get outside. I should really probably count these. One more. Um, so I don't know if that's a thing, but it makes sense. So I have just, you know, closed that window. Ooh, sorry, that's terrible. 
obviously this is a work in progress this uh this setup will get better it doesn't help that i have my i have an ipad that's just hanging precariously and it would probably be a lot easier with my phone but my phone does not have near the storage that my ipad has so i just keeps oops I just keep searching, keep searching for the best way to do these. I haven't found it yet, but I'll get there. I will get there. So it has been a week already. Axel, when I was getting him ready for school today, he said to me, I'm tired of school. I want to stay home. Bless his pee-picking heart. He has a rough time. I know I've mentioned it before. I mean, I don't dwell on it or anything, but both my younger boys um, are autistic. And what that looks like for us is, of course, extremely different than what it may look like for another autistic kiddo because... The spectrum is wide and varied, and kids are also wide and varied, so while some may have similar uh, characteristics, none of them are the same. So Axel's extremely smart, um, and he knows how to work people. He knows how to get what he wants. And when he doesn't get what he wants, he gets very angry. I think he has a lot of anxiety. And I haven't figured out quite how to deal with that yet. One thing at a time. So <laughs> he goes to school. And um, when he can't control his surroundings, he gets very upset. And when you're in a classroom with 27 other squirming bodies plus a teacher... And a couple classroom helpers that is a lot to deal with and he can't control all those people he's just too little um, so he acts out because then at least he's controlling you know what he's doing just not doing what he's supposed to so yesterday he had a rough day um, he didn't want to do the work he didn't want to participate in what the other kids were doing and he um, he does have support in the school, in the classroom. I chose the school because of the extra support he would receive um, having ASD. So though he's in general ed all of the time, there is extra support if he needs it. So this was one of the days that he really needed it. So he went to, they have a, a specific classroom for ASD kids where they can start their day, look at their visual schedules if they have one, eat lunch there if they need a quiet place, you know, finish their work if they're having trouble concentrating all of the things. He doesn't spend a lot of time in there, but he did yesterday. And they also have a specific ASD teacher. And she asked him, Axel, what is it that you want to do? You, you know, use your words instead of just like screaming and throwing something and tell me, what do you want to do? And he looked at her and he said... I just want to do what I want to do. Just like that. I want to do what I want to do. Dude, don't we all. So she had to laugh. She called me, you know, at the end of the school day. And she told me that this is the discussion they had. And he just wants to do what he wants to do. And so we have to, we had to spend time last night explaining to him that we all just want to do what we want to do. But if we did that, nothing would ever get done. We all have jobs and daddy's job is to go to work every day and, um, you know, bring home money so that we can have a nice place to live and good food to eat and toys um, and mommy's job is to take care of you and make money in her business and make sure you're happy and that you're taken care of. Um, and then AJ, Axel, and Archer's job is to go to school, get big brains, make lots of friends, and listen to the adults in the classroom 
because their job is to make sure you get smart and um, you know there's plenty of time to play when you get home so whether or not any of that stuck is really beyond me um, this morning when we were getting ready like I said Axel's like I'm tired of school oh, you've got several more years dude oops 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 so that's been fun um, so I put on my video yesterday that I was having a soda stitch sale, March 15th at 12 noon. I said that I was going to upload a video at that time, but Andrea from Colorado, maybe it's Andrea in Colorado, it's Andrea, you all know her. She sent me a message. She's like, oh my God, I will help you with a live sale, which really would be easier than recording and uploading and then trying to figure out everybody's orders if I could just, you know, have the help with a live sale. So heck yeah. So nothing has really changed other than it's going to be a live sale. And I do need to figure out there's a way I can put a notice on YouTube that will pop up in everybody's feed so that you can set a reminder for the sale and I need to figure that out. That's on my list. It's on my list of things to do. So that'll be happening. I'm pretty excited. Um, you know, I like selling these patterns. I'm really excited that uh, I can bring them to you. Gosh darn it. Um, not that they were really, they were never hard to get. They, they really aren't hard to get. Are you guys, there it is. Oh, kitty. Don't touch anything. I have to move this. There we go. Um, they've never really been hard to get. You just have to wait a while to get them shipped to you. And I mean, I don't like waiting. So I'm excited that at least for people in the US, I can get them to you fairly quickly. That makes me very happy. So I'm excited to do my first YouTube sale, move some stock. And then once that's over, I will be placing a new order. I did say that I would order sometime in March. It is probably, it's, well, it's definitely gonna be towards the end of March. Um, and then I'm also going to be sending out a newsletter and it's going to kind of be a call for patterns. So I generally choose the patterns and then I take requests. I don't take pre-orders. So if you send me a message and you're like, hey, I want to order blah, blah, I will, like last night I had somebody send me a message and she wanted to know if I would order one of the new releases. It was like a special day or something like that. I can't really remember now. And I said, yes, it's a new release. So I will be ordering some of those. So I take requests for what, people would like to see and then when I post them it's not expressly for them it's for everybody so there's a chance if there's something you requested you may not get it and that's that's happened before and I'm cognizant of that and then I usually just I reorder it again um but I do take requests I like new stuff bringing in new stuff um and and what people like to see so I will be sending out a newsletter and one of the topics will be a call for design. So since you guys are listening to this and I haven't sent out a newsletter yet, if you are interested in purchasing um, certain designs from Soda Stitch, send me an email, 3allthreads at gmail.com. Let me know what you'd like to see me offer and I will offer it in my Facebook group first. And you know, if there, to be honest, since the beginning, I did my first soda stitch order in December, I think. Maybe it was in November. There have been designs that I have ordered every single time because they're so popular. So if it's something that I've sold before, that's okay. 
If there is a demand for it, I will order a couple. Um, that's cool. Three, four. Even as I'm working on this, you guys hear Lucy. Oh my God, she needs her nails clipped so bad. Um, even as I'm working on this, I am thinking about other things that I want to work on. I really am. I'm lost on what I'm doing here. Hold on. Not it. Wrong one. Lucy, no. Oh my goodness. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. I hope. I'd be really sad if I stitched this incorrectly and you all are witnessing it something um okay now that I have that straightened away do you see how this okay my last stitch with me I don't think I don't remember if I was doing two-handed stitching or not but I've really been making an effort to do my stitching two-handed now and um, I really like it and it's pretty much second nature to me now but do you see how my work like wobbles so what I do is I literally my right hand is resting up against the back of the q-snap and then um, I, I rest my my left hand on my work all of the time oh, it got stuck in my finger um, to help control the wobble do you guys have to do that too like how do you keep it from bouncing that's the only thing that I really don't like about this stand is that it's bouncy. Maybe all stands are like that. I don't even know. I only used that American Treasures lap, lap stand for like a little bit when I had my surgery, uh, my carpal tunnel surgery. But I really don't, I don't like the wobble. It drives me insane. else is going on in the world today I don't know I turned off TV now that the Olympics are over I literally feel like there's no reason to turn on the TV does anybody else feel that way they were such great games I love the Olympics so here's and nobody watches them in the house but me like my husband will come in when they're on and sit down and he'll watch for a little bit but he was not into it. I had my TV tuned in, NBC, which it usually is. Very rarely do I even change the channel. It's always on NBC. Um, but for the Olympics, tuned in. So during the closing ceremonies, AJ wanders upstairs. He's my 16-year-old. And he looks at the TV. I don't know, it's like 9 o'clock at night. I thought the Olympics were over, Mom. And I said they are. These are the closing ceremonies. And he said, oh, who won? <laughs> and I just, I looked at him and I was like, what do you mean, who won? Like, that's not, that is not how the Olympics work. It is not a, a who won. And then he laughed because he thought he was hilarious. So I guess he wasn't really serious. But I thought, look, kid. Get it together, man. Get it together. So, it was so good. I tell ya. And I just, closing ceremonies, 
Dude, I cried more than once. I don't know why I'm so into the Olympics. I don't, I think it's just everybody coming together from around the world for the love of the sport and the sportsmanship is generally pretty good. I say generally because not very happy with the hockey outcome. I did see that and I groaned a little bit. And I mean, I, I don't follow hockey. I didn't realize that like Canada and the US were such huge rivals. Though I do think they probably, the women's hockey, they've probably been like gold and silver. And I think Canada generally wins gold like all the time because they're amazing hockey players. Um, so maybe this is a thing and I just never paid attention because I don't watch the hockey. Uh, but I did see a little bit of unsportsmanlike conduct on one side. And that made me sad because, like, they all go there to win gold, right? They all go there to medal, at least. But they all go to win gold. You go big, you go home. That's what you want. That's what you're striving for. But don't be a weenie. I'm so tired of people being weenies all the time. Stop. So that made me a little sad, but again, I don't watch that much, so it's not like I sat here and thought about it a whole lot. That did make me sad. Okay, skin is done, right? One, two, three, four. Face is done, legs are done. Let's flip this over. fingers. I don't even know if this is in frame. Yeah, it's all right. I've seen better. <laughs> I've seen better setups for Stitch With Me's. I'm just going to throw that out there. But, you know, we can only do what we can do. Okay, what color should we do? Next. Um, I have to do the cherub's little wrap. So that is in cranberry. I have the worst setup for my threads. Oh my gosh. You guys, I need Jessie Marie to do something for me. She does that organization business and um, I bet that's pretty awesome. Haven't gotten there yet. This pattern is also really tall, like the, the pattern pages are folded in half. So that's fine. But the picture is on like card, it's not even cardstock, it's like cardboard. And so I would either have to bend that in half, which I'm not going to do, um, or just put it someplace else instead of in a, a project bag. Maybe that's what I should do. I should just take the I should just take the cardboard part all out and go store it somewhere. I guess I don't need that in there. Of course, I wouldn't be able to show what it looks like every time, but if you don't know what Andy Sin looks like by now, whew, you've been missing out. You've been missing out. There we go. So I start everything with... This is not right. Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. With the diagonal pin stitch that Abby um, showed on one of her videos a long time ago. It was it was several months ago. Um, I know before I saw her diagonal one. Oh, that's see that little see that little tuft there. That we hate that. That's okay. Um, before I saw Abby's, I know Vanna did a tutorial 
on the pin stitch. It was like the regular pin stitch and I just didn't get it. <laughs> I just, I watched it and I'm like, I don't understand. I don't understand. But the diagonal one, for some reason, that stuck and I, and I understood that. I really need to go back. I need to go back and look at how to do a pin stitch on Ada. And I feel like Vanna showed that too. And I also feel like um, Carolyn did a long time ago. Carolyn Mazio. So I'm super behind on floss tube because floss tube is crazy. I got a shout out the other day and I didn't even know from uh, Basic Stitches, which was super sweet. Um, she it was one of their most recent videos. Okay, first I'm gonna say, did not realize that was a mother-daughter duo. Mom, you look fine. I for sure thought it was another sister duo. And I, I didn't know, I just clicked. I was randomly watching different floss tube because, you know, I want to try to see as many people as I can. And um, I was like, oh, look at these blonde sisters. Aren't they cute? Blah, blah, blah. And then they started talking about like grandma and mom talked about that being her mom. And I had to take pause because it wasn't registering. I'm like, I don't understand what you guys are saying. I don't get it. Yeah. So they're a mother and daughter duo. And daughter, I don't remember your names. I'm sorry. I need to go back and watch more though. She shouted me out because she bought a couple soda stitch patterns. And I remember the day she talked about, she um, sent me a Facebook message and she's like, hey, there's the, it was the President's Day sale. Hey, there's President's Day sale. And I want to go out and buy some thread, but I don't have my charts yet. Can you tell me what the floss usage is for these two charts? Okay, so um, when I got the message, it was I think it was like 45 minutes later because I was trying to take a nap. And I don't, I always talk a good game about trying to take naps, but I can never take a nap. So I basically had been laying in bed for an hour and a half and I heard the message come in, but I was groggy because I was still trying to sleep, so I ignored it. So then when I got up and I read it, I was like, oh no! Um, so yeah, I got the thread usage and sent it to her and she's like, oh my gosh, you're awesome. And I was like, thanks, you're awesome. I don't know that I said that, but I thought that anyway. And come to find out she had actually gotten the charts that day. And I have this feeling that they live in Michigan. I don't know that for a fact, but I feel like I heard them say something about Michigan. And so we're probably like neighbors or something. I don't remember. So that's awesome. So basic stitches, girls, if you're watching, hi. Thank you for the shout out. And then she had mentioned that she she had mentioned me in a previous video. And I'm like, man, I need to watch those. So that being said, if you watch my videos and you make videos and um, I don't know that you make videos, not that I don't comment all the time, but like if I've never commented on something of yours, I probably don't know that you exist. And I would like to return the favor by watching some of your videos. So leave me a comment. And let me know because I am always looking for something new. I've pretty much given up on my, I haven't given up on my subscriptions. There are people that if I see something uploaded, I will stop a video and go watch it. Um, but even then, I still, I still miss them. Um, so let me know if you're making them and I will go pick one to watch because I like to see new floss tubers. And let's take a minute to talk about all the retreats that are coming up. Holy Moses, I do not have enough money to support my retreat habit. So there's Midwest Stitchers group, which I still need to get to one of those because they look like a fun group. Um, the, the New Jersey one, which I am signed up for, is coming up. StitchCon is coming up, which is in Ohio, which I would love to crash. 
um, just for a couple hours to meet people, but I don't know if that's an option. So, um, but they would be closer. There's Spooky Savannah Stitchers coming up, I just found out about. That looks like a good time. Miss Oh So Crafty just announced a retreat coming up. And um, I'm holding out because I'm really hoping the Austin group can get back together again. I don't know. Um, I don't know if that's in the works. No pressure. Uh, but I am holding out for that one for the fall. A lot of things are coming up in October. And I just really, I just really would like to see that group again. And I'm really hoping that it's in the New York area because that's what we've talked about because that would be easier for some of our Canadian stitchers to come. And Sarah Shears, I'm talking to you. I would love to see you in person um, and, and our other Canadian stitchers. Really, I'm gonna stow away in Sarah's suitcase though and move to Canada, help her take care of the chickens and Abbott. So I, uh, I hope, plus I find out I'm directionally challenged. I don't know if I've ever said this before, but I am. As far as geographic locations, I don't know where anything is. And when I talked about Buffalo, when that was just thrown out there months ago, Leaf's like, oh, that's no big deal. You can get there super easy. And I was like, oh no, it's got to be at least as far away as New Jersey. And he's like, no, Trisha, like Buffalo is practically next door. I'm like, what are you talking about? It's next to Canada. I don't understand how big Canada is and I don't understand where our states are located yet anymore. Um, and so he's like, put it into Google Maps and it's literally like a four, four and a half hour drive max. I was like, oh, I don't even need you to go with me. Like I can do that. No problem. So I really have all of the things crossed that that can happen because I that would be great for me. Um, but yeah, retreats are, are all the rage right now. And that makes me really happy because I love seeing our community get together and people traveling from far and wide to share the craft. I love it. Makes me so happy. Even if I can't go to them all, it makes me so happy to see them happening. I just love it. Just like it makes me so happy to see new people putting themselves out there. Uh oh. This is weird. Um, putting themselves out there for... My cherub is wrong, but I don't care. Um, putting themselves out there on floss tube is what I'm trying to say. Oh, I can't get this needle stuck through. There we go. There's supposed to be four stitches, and there are not four stitches there. One, two, three, four. But nobody's gonna be able to tell. So we're going to leave it as is. Two. This is charted different on the right hand side than the left hand side anyway. Oh, I forgot his toes right here. I'm going to have to go back to that. Oops. Oopsie. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's what I have to say about that. Yay, retreats. You're going to see fudging it firsthand. Firsthand fudging. What else is new and good in the world today? I don't know. Um, weather here has been really nice. We've had a couple days of 50 degree weather, which is... Super great, fantastic for the end of February. I am so ready for spring. 
I, um, I'm tired of the winter now. I'm tired of the snow. We've gotten a fair share, but I feel like we have one more big winter storm in us because that's what Michigan does. A couple few years ago, um, we had like two huge snowstorms over spring break. That was the first week of April. Um, it was ridiculous. Like you, we couldn't do anything because it, and it wasn't just like a little bit of snow. It was major snow. We, at the beginning of that, um, week, we went to my in-laws for Easter as we do every year. And when we were driving home on Sunday, it was a blizzard. It was ridiculous. And then it just snowed for the rest of the week. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen, but it's Michigan, and like I said, it's what we do. Um, what else is coming up? So Easter's coming up, spring break's coming up. I was going somewhere with that, but I don't know. I don't know where I was going. hungry. Okay, I'm going to need to make myself some some grub after this. I'm waiting to hear back from our mechanic. My husband's car has been in the shop. Hold on, I'm doing something outside, but I can't see it because I have my readers on. I think it's the garbage truck. Um, so my husband's car has been in the shop which means he's been taking my van and I have been borrowing my neighbor's car bless their hearts I talk about Cindy quite a bit she watches my channel sometimes she's not a stitcher but she is a quilter she's a crafter she's awesome and I love her and I asked you know a couple weeks ago when it first went in the shop I'm like hey can I just borrow your car or can you take me to drop off Archer for a couple mornings and her husband, Tom, bless his heart, he's like, yeah, you can just take the car. They have an extra. Um, he has an, an SUV that he doesn't drive every day. Well, he does now, but he doesn't usually drive it every day. That's like a work, like a working car, you know, if he needs to, you know, it's a Tahoe. It's an SUV. When you, when you need some extra strength, that's what he uses. So anyway, he brought over the car, gave me the keys, no big deal. So I borrowed it for five days I want to say and then I gave it back because we got Leaf's car back and then the car started acting up again so then we took it back so I've had their car again and I love that they allow me to drive it you know wherever I need to take it for oops for however long no big deal but you know you get that feeling like when somebody does you a huge solid like that like they're saving us hundreds of dollars so that we don't have to rent a car. You get really weird, you being the person who's borrowing, gets really weird about it. And I'm at that point, um, I just need this color to do his mouth. Um, I'm at that point where it's really, like I feel like we've overstayed our welcome and I need to get their car back to them and it's kind of freaking me out. And my husband's like, look, calm down. You're probably the only one that's worried about it. And he might be right. Or maybe they're just not telling me that they're, that they think we're big losers. Go rent a car. Even though I keep saying we can go rent a car. And he keeps saying, no, that's stupid. Don't rent a car. So Leaf says the longer we go without having to rent a car, the more beer we can buy for backyard fires which is very true. So I'm keeping that in mind. Beer. But, yeah, my neighbors are awesome. So hopefully today we're going to hear on the car because I'm getting a little angsty about it. Uh, when I was working, I worked at a local community college and the automotive program was one of the programs that I was the admin assistant for. And I worked in that position 
for over 15 years. So I made a lot of contacts in the industry. So the, in just a minute, Lucy. So in the, I forgot where I was saying that. So I made a lot of contacts in the industry. Oh, so where we have it is actually a shop owned by one of the professors. So I trust him and one of the other shops that I used to go to was also owned by one of the professors, but he retired and closed it. So my contacts are drying out. And I don't know what's going to happen when they decide they aren't going to be in business anymore. I'm a little scared. So I trust them implicitly, but they're also a small, a very small shop. It's a mom and pop shop, and it's taking more time than I would like. <laughs> so that's been unfortunate. All right. So we're going to work on... I'm gonna put some eyes on this cherub. Just two stitches. Can you hear my kitty? She's rolling all over on the floor, enjoying the foot pets she's getting from me right now. Grab my glasses. I can see, I can't really, I can't thread my needle with my readers on, which is really strange because that's a small little area for some reason. I can't do it. So I'm gonna put, aw, I'm gonna put this guy's eyeballs in and then I guess we'll call it a session. So I just shook, just shook you again. I'll figure this out. I will figure this out. I need more rubber bands. True story. I need rubber bands. I think that'll help. I should probably start some laundry too. I really need to go do some adulting. Guys, adulting is so hard, but I need to do some. I need to do some adulting. I need to go check my to-do list. There we go. Oh, you didn't even get to see it. <laughs> need to check my to-do list. I need to get some things done. I need to eat. I'm a little hungry. Um, so we'll wrap this up. Thanks for chatting with me and listening. Um, I love Stitch With Me videos. I know some people don't. And that's okay. I, you know, I clearly mark my video stitch with me. So if you don't want to hear me blather on, skip it. Skip it. But I love stitch with me's because um, I really like to hear about people personally. To hear about what they're doing. I like to hear their opinions on things. I like to learn. I like to learn about people. You know, social media can be very... Um, I know it's, it's social media, but it can also be very isolating. People can be very uh, one-dimensional. And sometimes just this added, this, this added part, I guess, this added uh, facet of floss tube um, can be really nice to get to know people. So, you know, give it a chance. Okay, that's it for me. My cherub is complete. Oh, I have to do his toes. Okay, my chair will be complete after I do his toes. Poor thing. Um, and I will see you. I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.